Investing is most intelligent when most businesslike. I think that's an essential sentence for long-term investing success. I perhaps have made a mistake on this channel and discussed a lot how stock prices move and we focused on where the stock will go in the next three, six months. I cannot guess where it will go in the next six months. I don't think anybody can. You can bet on it. It's a positive game because in the long term stock prices will go up, but nobody can know. And there is a great link from the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. I have put it in the description below, so please watch that. That's crucial to the point how nobody can guess what the stock market will do in the short term. However, what I prefer to do is analyze the business. And you can estimate relatively correctly, with margin of error of course, what will businesses do. And that's going back to Graham and his sentence that investing is most intelligent when most businesslike. So in this video we'll discuss six points that describe that sentence and perhaps you'll like it or you probably won't like it because many of the comments here is okay where can I make a quick gain 20, 30, 50 percent in a few months of double bagger in 10 months. I wish I knew I try to help you as much as I can and there are some stocks that did go up, some stocks didn't, some stocks went up, went down, so it happens. However, if you focus on the business and you guess the business in the long term you'll do very well. The first rule is keep things simple. If you understand the business, okay, then you can invest in it. If you don't understand the business, then better don't invest in that business. I don't understand nano, DRAM, chips and who will win in that environment, what will mobile phone phones in the next two years use, I don't know. And that's why I'm not investing in NVIDIA's or uh, Micron or those companies. Perhaps if I s put myself into it, I really read a month about it, then I can understand it. However, I don't n for now, so I'm not investing in those companies. I'm missing out, but I think for me, my personal risks are then much lower. Second point, focus on the productivity of the asset you're purchasing. For example, we discussed Amira, the stock price went from 4.7 to almost $7, so more than 50%, and then it went back to $5 when I don't know what the market expected. Nevertheless, the company is still profitable, the earnings were very positive, the PE ratio is 5, so if I look at the business performance, I am at returns of around 15-20% per year and ex as they have been so in the last 6 year, years, I expect them to be so in the la next 6-10 years. If that really reflects in the long term the stock price, my investment returns will be very very good. However, I need to have patience. And if I buy more when the stock market is irrational and offers me at a lower price, even better for me. I can even rebalance as I did in the past two years when it was at a high price. So very interesting to see. If you look at an investment from a business perspective, everything is much much easier. This leads to the third question. Focusing on stock prices is speculation. So if you focus on where the stock price will go in the short term, it means you're a speculator. You can be a very good speculator, but then there are different techniques that look, especially now, high frequency trading, and now you need a lot of software power to do that. You cannot, I think, in this environment do that well with just looking at a few charts that everybody else is looking. So perhaps if you develop yourself with a few years, I'm definitely sure that you can be also a good speculator. However, business-like, looking at the performance of a business is much, much easier, I think. This leads to number four, that the winners are those who focus on the playing field and not who are focused on the scoreboard. The S&P 500 really tripled in the last seven years, so that's very good, but it can halve its value in the next 6-12 months. So if you focus on the scoreboard, you can quickly be in a losing position instead of a very good winning position. However, if you focus on earnings, you exactly know what is the stock market or this specific business going to deliver in the long term and what are the risks. And again, it makes investing much more easier. Now, we discuss also a lot of macro trends, risks, but that's only 
for positioning ourselves in the trends that are positive and long-term and certain demographics and then finding good businesses that are exposed to those trends. I don't know when the next recession will start, I don't know whether it will be inflation, whether the Fed's going to rise interest rates, what will happen in Korea, nobody knows and we can't know. And if you follow all those things and position yourself according with your portfolio, you lose a lot because in 2012 you would have sold everything because the US was going bankrupt or was it 2011 then there was trouble in Europe then there was trouble in China then there was this and that so if you focus on the, those short-term macro trends you don't know you lose yourself very quickly and then you can lose a lot of money especially those who sold in 2011 have lost a lot but in 2011 valuations were low and it was a good business decision to invest in stocks. Number six, to conclude, really, if you want to invest, feel like a business owner. Okay, I have this part of a business and then take advantage from the market offering you a price every day. Don't look at it, okay, the stock price went up, went down, I lost, I made a gain. No, though, look at it, okay, the stock price went down, I'm happy, I'll buy more. Thank you, market. The stock market went up and your returns are above the line of return you expect. You say, okay, I'll sell. If it comes back down, I'll buy again. So really, take advantage of Mr. Market's irrational movements. Thank you for watching. Any other rules that we have to follow in order to be more business-like, please leave them in the comments. Click like if you like the content, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video.